Hello everyone, back to you into today's video, doing Jamie Friday, as always on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at the weather next month with Japanese and CFS beach models, which will take us into the second half of August. So we're running down into the last, uh, last part of the summer, the late summer period, uh, with this update, but a funny old summer uh, this year, been very warm, hot and dry in the south, it's been cool and unsettled all the way through in the north, uh, and at times in between the heat waves, we've had some very uh, unsettled autumnal type conditions. We've got one of those sort of days today. It's pouring with rain across parts of Wales and southwest England. I think there will be some floods across Wales and southwestern England uh, later today due to the extent of the heavy rain. It feels very cool as well. Just a couple of days ago, I was having a heat wave. So it's been a funny summer. And uh, we'll see how things are going to play out for the final month of summer, how it could play out uh, for the final month of summer with a Jam A Friday today. So we're going to start off with the 500 bit of our height anomaly uh, flow charts from the Japanese model uh, from the pole view down. So uh, this is the North Pole, of course, up here. Mid latitudes uh, around here and the British Isles is just there. Uh, on these charts, blue is, is extrapolating to low pressure. And uh, yellow, uh, orange, red, bright colours are extrapolating to high pressure. Um, and these break down to weak periods. So the first week per period will take us from today, the 21st, through to the 28th of the month. We find that we've got an area of below average heights across and to the east of the UK, with above average heights in the north and to the west of the UK. The jet stream will be doing something a little bit like that so it looks pretty cool and pretty unsettled actually for the week ahead there's a lot of low pressure around there no doubt producing showers or longer spells of rain and with the wind coming from a more more of a northerly type direction it's not going to be all that warm either we go through to week two, which is the 28th of July through to the 4th of August. And this one just looks generally unsettled. We've got below average heights again to our north uh, and to the west as well. We're bringing the jet stream more or less through the heart of the country like that. So it looks unsettled. You know, expect Atlantic driven uh, weather with that kind of situation. Maybe not quite as cool as week one because it's more of a westerly as opposed to a northerly influence. But it looks generally unsettled and of course westerlies in uh, late July are going to be on the cool side. And then we go through to weeks three and four. And this is a little bit transitional perhaps this because uh, you may get one sort of scenario in week three and another scenario <coughs> excuse me, in week four. So overall, uh, you come away with a fairly weak signal. And that is what we see here, actually. This is taking us from the 4th through to the 18th of August. And the signals do look quite weak. There's not much to go on. Other than we've got a slight area of above average heights around Greenland, which isn't normally a very good sign. And we've got an area of below average heights around Scandinavia. We're probably bringing the jet stream still through the country, so it's probably quite unsettled. And, um, of course, depending on how this uh, trough here over Scandinavia and the ridge around Greenland interact, we could also be bringing in northerly winds. So although it's a very weak signal, there's not much to play with, uh, I have a feeling that's not a terribly good situation, really, for August. And I think I've got, got a few... Uh, August concerns here based on what the JMA is showing, albeit with a very weak signal. Let's have a look at the mid latitude view in terms of temperature and precipitation anomalies. So, on this chart, uh, British Isles is just here in the top right hand corner of the chart. The equator is through uh, there, and then we've got the northern hemisphere, of course, on the northern side of the equator, and the southern hemisphere is on the southern side of the equator. The poles off, are off this chart. You can't see the south pole, which is down here, and you can't see the north pole, uh, which is just here. But we all we looked at the North Pole view down, of course. And the main thing is that British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Um, so for week one, we know we've got this ridge out to the west. It also extends up to the northwest. Trough of low pressure is over and to the east of the country. You expect this to be a very unsettled week. The model is showing above average rainfall in the week ahead, going from the 21st 
to 28th of July. And temperatures are on the cooler than average side as well. So this final week of July is actually looking rather cool and rather wet. Uh, after what, for the south anyway, has been a very warm um, month. So a bit disappointing end to July in many ways. Uh, we go through to week two, which is the 28th of July through to the 4th of August. This one just looks Atlantic driven. We've got the below average heights uh, to the north. We have got a bit of a, bit, a ridge down to the southwest, but I think we're bringing the jet stream through the country like that. Uh, precipitation anomalies, therefore, are still coming out wetter than average. It's still above average there uh, with the rainfall. Uh, in terms of the uh, temperature signal, let's have a look at that. And we find that uh, the temperatures are actually coming out on the cooler than average side, particularly so for the north. So we're going to the first few days of August. It still doesn't look all that good, to be honest. And then finally, we've got weeks three and four, which is the fourth through to the 18th of August. And this is just a very weak signal. So now that we can't see the northern latitudes, uh, there's nothing at all to play with in terms of the 500 millibar height anomaly on uh, this chart. So we won't dwell on that. But we are still coming out with above average rainfall, interestingly. So... I thought it looked a little bit, although the scene was very weak, I thought it did still look a little bit um, grim there as we're going into August. Certainly from a rainfall perspective, it's still looking quite unsettled. Now, the temperatures are recovering a little bit, interestingly. I thought, based on the position of a bit of a ridge over Greenland and uh, trough over Scandinavia, it could possibly be on the cooler and average side with northerly winds. Actually, the model is just looking close to average, or maybe a little bit above average with the temperature. Temperatures. Very weak signals there uh, as we go further into August. But I think overall, not all that good, really, uh, in terms of the uh, indications that we've got here uh, for August from the JMA. But we're going to have a look at the CFS B2 next and see what that is showing, whether it's in agreement. So this is what the CFS is showing for week one. This is taking us uh, from the 21st through to 27th of July, the coming week. And uh, so we've got a bit of a ridge out to our west. We've got also some uh, ridging to the north, a little bit of northern blocking actually there. Uh, and then we've got the lower ridge heights down to our uh, south over and to the south of the country. So it's a complicated pattern. Overall, we're doing something probably a little bit like that with the flow. So it isn't all that far from what the JMA is doing, actually. And the upshot is that it's basically quite a cool and quite an unsettled week coming up. We go through to week two, and that's the 28th of July to the 3rd of August. And this, again, just looks very unsettled. Below average heights to our north. We have got a bit of above average heights to our southwest, but not really doing a great deal for us. We bring jet stream through like that. So it's more of a westerly, in agreement with the JMA as well, week two. It is more of a westerly flow, not as much of a northerly influence, so it's probably not as cool, but uh, it's still very unsettled. it be quite a bit of rain, especially so up in the north. Uh, week three is looking like this, taking us from the 4th through to the 10th of August. Uh, above average heights closer, but the way it's lined up out to our uh, west and the below average heights there uh, towards Scandinavia, we're pulling in a bit of a northwesterly uh, flow. So that looks quite cool. It is drier, it's not as unsettled, but it still looks quite cool, that I would have thought, with the wind coming in from a northerly part of the Atlantic Ocean. And then we go through to week four, which is the 11th through to the 17th of August. Uh, this one looks a little bit better. The heights are rising to our south. Um, this is more like what we've had through the summer, really. Uh, the trough to the north is weakening a little bit. The jet stream will be going north here as well. So certainly for the southern parts of the country, we would be starting to pull some warmer air back up into the south. So perhaps around the middle of August, it's a little bit better. But the first half of August here is looking actually uh, rather cool and rather unsettled. Temperature anomalies for the coming week. Uh, so below average uh, for the south, still a little bit above average, interestingly, for the north. Not sure about that. I think the JMA is closer with most parts of the country coming out with a cool of an average week. Uh, week two temperature anomalies, they're coming out 
uh, cooler than average as well, as much as a couple of degrees uh, below average. So um, we're looking at quite a cool, uh, cool uh, phase there at the very end of July and into the start of August. This continues into week three as well. So not very good first half to August, I have to say. Cooler than average again uh, from the 4th to the 10th of August. Then finally, we know for week four, heights are beginning to rise a little bit in the south. Might be starting to get a bit warmer. Temperature anomalies then are going closer to average for England away. As even then, still a little bit cooler than average for Scotland. I have to say, the first half of August here is looking really quite cool, which would, for the south, be quite a turn up for the book, because we've had a very long run of warmer than average weather. Uh, for the uh, precipitation anomalies, finally, week one is coming out wetter than average. Hardly a surprise. Both models are in agreement about that. Week two is uh, just going back towards average, really, with the rainfall. And then week uh, three, that also coming out uh, coming out around average again. I think the signal is weakening. And week four is sort of rounding it all off again, coming out very close to average. I'm not sure Mars really got a signal here for precipitation beyond week one. I think uh, Molly is struggling to see where things are going with uh, rainfall. But it's certainly in terms of temperature, uh, it looks like the first half of August is shaping up to be rather on the cool side. Now, I say this would be quite a shock because we've had, we haven't had a cold and average month for a cool and average average month throughout the whole of the year so far it would be just typical that we get to the school holidays some holidays and uh, we get our first cool and average month but I won't go quite that far just yet certainly the first week or two of August is looking quite cool quite unsettled but whether that was to go on throughout the whole of the month of course this is only running up to the middle part of August so um, it's too early uh, to be writing off August, uh, saying that August is going to be a complete write-off. But certainly the train's a little bit dodgy for the first week or two. You have to say that. So we're ending July and going into August on quite a cool and unsettled note. It'll be a case of waiting to see how long into August this cool, unsettled period goes on for. As it has been a very strange summer uh, this year. It's never been a very good summer at all for Scotland. It's been a really quite dire summer for many parts of Scotland. Northern Ireland hasn't been that good either. But England and Wales has had a lot of very warm, at times even hot weather, and it's also been very dry across parts of central southern England as well. So um, it has been a strange summer. It looks like we're going into a more prolonged period of cooler, unsettled weather, even for southern parts of the country. It should be a case of waiting to see how far into August this is going to go on for. Right, that's all now. As ever, uh, long-range forecast is always experimental. It's not to be relied upon. It's just a snapshot of what the models are showing. And I think they have done quite a flip here, particularly the CFS, compared to what, what they've been showing over the past few weeks as well. So that's always the caveat with this longer-range stuff. Tomorrow... It's a weekend forecast using tried and tested shorter range uh, miles. Reliability fat is always much better within uh, seven days. So come back weekend forecast tomorrow. It could be an unsettled one, uh, but that's all for now. And thanks for watching.